Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, okay. Uh, yeah. Bigger than the heavens is the living legend. Bigger than the heavens is the living legend. Feel like a god amongst men when they're in your presence. The fallen angels. I hope they catch it for our exit. Start. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Click and blam. Follow me on Instagram, father underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Um, salute to everybody that supports this content. Whether religiously or in passing, salute to my guy Showtime SP. Um, gang, gang, gang. So, I wanted to talk to y'all about the notion, I'm not going to call it narrative, that Kichi Gotti is giving Loaded Lux the shot. This is here, you know what I mean? This is the last <laughs> level of rap. And he get, I'm giving Lux the shot. I don't give a fuck how you look at it. <laughs> Feel me? I'm the biggest name on the West. Done yeah. brought all this shit up. <laughs> nigga, now you get to battle me. Nigga, nigga, that ain't me battling you. We battling each other. Two juggernauts. You a king from Harlem. I'm the king from Compton. Nigga, you yeah. gonna run into me, dog. I, I didn't think of it that way. But when you listen, if you check out Geechee Gotti's No Studio and Podcast, you know what I'm saying, that he does have his own YouTube channel. He puts out his, his No Studio in. Um, he was having a conversation and he was making some valid points. Though I'm just being a honey. Compare our resumes, nigga. Yeah. I done battled just as many of the names he done battled, or, and more. Mm -hmm. You feel me? He what he got? Mooks, nigga. He got serves and shit, nigga. I got serves. I got arsenals. I got all these niggas. He done battled plus more niggas on my resume that he ain't never seen. He ain't never jumped in there with no rum nitties. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> he ain't jumped in there with no Danny Myers. You feel me? Nigga ain't jumped in there with no Chilla Jones. <laughs> nigga ain't jumped in there with no Eel Wheels. Nigga the fuck? He said, and I quote, you know what I'm saying? I took like a couple little joints, you know what I'm saying, clips, so you can see it. You know, it's better to hear it from him than from me, where he's talking about his resume. He's talking about, you know, I'm the face of battle rap right now. You're getting to battle me. I'm not, like, he, and what I did want from a Gishi Gotti versus Loaded Lux, I'm not going to lie, I wanted them both to be in such a focused notion to know what they could potentially bring, like the two of them, you got Geechee Gotti, who is the face of the new era. Like he's the face, I don't care what nobody says. There's no battle rapper, new era. Well, you know, I would probably, if you considered, no, I don't consider Tay Rock new era, because Tay Rock was battling outside, you know what I'm saying? He was on Born Legacy like two, you know what I'm saying? He's battling outside versus Shotgun Shook, so I don't consider him new era. I consider him smack era. But Geechee Gotti, is the top name like he's the face he's the one right now he's done the most he's literally blew his career up the most and he's battling against beloved so what he says is like yo lux ain't never stood in front of the killers that i stood in front of you know what i'm saying he said you got surf on your resume i got surf on my resume you got arsenal on your resume i got arsenal on my resume too you got rock on your resume i got rock on my resume too you know what i mean like as far as with the two on two and things like that. But his thing now is like, yo, this is where, this is me. Like I respect you for coming outside and battling against one of them ones, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm that nigga right now. And the thing is, like I said, a lot of the legacy cats from that first run, the ones that are really up there, they not coming outside and battling against the rum nitties. They not coming outside. I mean, T-Rex is battling the rum nitty, but I got rum nitty 3-0, whatever. But, they're not coming outside and battling against the niggas who's putting on right now. Like, some of them just ain't doing it. And with everything that Loaded Lux has achieved in his career, you know what I'm saying, respectfully, this is the one right here. Like, this is, I think to me, and I've seen Loaded Lux first murder Mook 1 and 2, but currently, this could potentially be Loaded Lux's most important battle. Why? Why? Because... If Geechee Gotti beats a loaded Lux, clearly, like, not like a, you know, well, oh, I got chest beating easy 2 1, I got easy beat, not like that. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about clearly, like, no debate. 3 0, what are we even doing here? Let's just keep this shit moving and bring my L here. That's gonna change the, the, the landscape of battle rap 
for all time purposes, not just for now. This is like all time purposes. And I will say one thing I respect about Loaded Lugs and I respect about Geechee Gotti is they both take their brand serious. You know what I'm saying? Like Loaded Lux has people in his corner that work with him from his sister to his family that really, really take their branding. They take their, they take shit serious. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they, he don't, Loaded Lux don't come to play with nobody. Like he ain't about to come in there and just bullshit you off and give you a trash performance and walk out. He's not going to do that. Geechee Gotti takes his brand serious. Like I said, he has controlled his shit from the beginning. From his clothing to his studio, no studioing, to his music, to everything. He's taking it the way it's supposed to be taken. And you never really see either or. This is why they've really gotten far. Regardless of what people have said about them, whether it be in the media or things like that, you never see either or you really get mad. You're not going to really ever see Geechee Gotti saying, F this blogger or F that blogger or F this me. You ain't going to see that because he he's... Street nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like he ain't really about to be going back and forth with nobody over no opinion. Your opinion of whether he won or lost the battle is just that. I seen him when somebody tried to say the Calico won versus him or he didn't do good. He just said, yo, do you know how much I got? Like, dog, this is not a loss for me. Same with Loaded Lux. You don't see Loaded Lux getting mad at bloggers, getting mad at me. Like, you're not going to see that. You know, they, they're consummate professionals in what they do at that level. And then I always tell you, it's always a thing about, um, you know, the production. The produ like, Geechee Gotti produces at a very, very high level. Like, he's a very high level producer. And when he puts out his content, you know, like, people gravitate towards it. You know what I'm saying? And I always say, you know, it's personality and production. When your personality is here and your production is here, the company can deal with whatever comes with it. But when your personality is here and your production is here, whether it be MCs who just don't show up on time, don't bring fire material, just aren't marketable, how are we going to promote that? You know what I mean? So I see other MCs that came in the same time as Geechee Gotti, they still down here in the basement. Like some of these niggas, they can't even get on cards. I'm not lying. Y'all niggas could literally jump in these comments right now and give me five MCs who cannot get on a volume or cannot get on a gnome or cannot get on a summer madness that have been here for five years. Do that. There's at least 10, 15 niggas that if they called for a gnome or called for some of niggas, they'd be like, what? Nigga, don't call me with that shit. Click. Nobody want to hear that shit. Like, you're not getting on. And it's because the talent isn't the same, the marketability isn't the same, and the return on the investment is not the same with a lot of you niggas. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all be good for a little super fight or for a little, you know, a little fucking, maybe you throw you in a little tournament every now and then. But when the rubber meets the road, product don't get sold. So back to Loaded Lux, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Loaded Lux, he's really stepping in as the gatekeeper of his era right now. That's what he's doing. He's literally stepping in as the gatekeeper of his era. You got to, you are the last dragon, my nigga. <laughs> like, you are the last hope for that era. I'm sure there'll be a lot of battles that happen, a lot of different new era, smack era battles, but nigga, if Loaded Lux gets smoked by like Geechee Gotti, nah, that's going to change the whole landscape of shit. But I like the, the, the notion that Geechee Gotti saying, look nigga, the shit that you've done, I, I got these names. I got this acclaim. I've won here. I've won there. My name has been number one. For a couple years now, you know what I'm saying? Like I've not only shown, but I've proved what I can do. I've proved my worth. I've proved my value. He said in the live with Surface up to 50, a 50 a battle right now, and I agree. Gigi Gotti should be getting paid very well. He should. Why wouldn't he? He's the nigga that's leading the new school. And then another thing that he said, I did like the fact that he mentioned this. This is a battle that he's taking serious. He said he's literally showed up against certain niggas, don't matter who, and just like, I know I can talk these shit to these niggas better than them, so I just show up, I talk to them how I talk to them, and I get out of there, get my bread and leave. He didn't say bullshit to him. He just said certain niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just know that he could just show up. Nigga, use a, you know, <laughs> the clip spray. 
What you know about getting shot and having him going to work because you ain't got no sick days, niggas. He know he could do that to niggas. He ain't say that, but I'm saying he could literally just rap every fucking bar to these niggas and get off with some shit that niggas normally can't get off with. I like the thought, I like the notion, but I must say, uh, this is big. Him versus Loaded Lux on a car is sponsored by Drake. Like, nigga, you gotta bring your own. You got to bring it. Like, this is not a this is not a, a jokey joke battle. Like, you can't just show up and be like, all right, well, you guys, it was great seeing you. Um, but another thing I must say is that it seems like Drake is very involved with this process because sometimes a lot of these folks who have big names, they'll get their names used, but then you won't really see them involved with it. They won't really speak about it. They'll just, uh, you know, it is what it is. But you hear Drake talking about battle rap. He talks about watching RBE. He talks about watching Daylight versus Low, saying it was a friendly battle. Like, that is good to know that somebody of that stature really gives a shit about the image, the way battle rap. Because now, people have always said they want to see battle rap go to the next. Battle rap is literally going to the next level in front of you. It's right now. Like, whatever you thought or envisioned, it's happening right in front of your eyes. It is happening right before you. And um, it's dope to see that that shit's happening. It's dope to see everybody, you know, people that's involved, people that's on the card. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a good time. It's a great, <laughs> it's a fucking great time in battle rap right now. It's a fucking wonderful time. The blogs is doing numbers. Everybody doing their own thing. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is shit booming right now. And it's, you know, Geechee Gotti versus Loaded Lux two weeks from now. Oh, okay. All that talking is cool, but uh, when when it, when it's all said and done, we're going to see who's going to be the one. Um, make sure you subscribe to Geechee Gotti's YouTube channel, No Studio In, you know what I'm saying, and um, show him some love over there. He's got a new Twitter now. I think it's Geechee Gotti MBB or something like that. Uh, his last joint got sniped. I always be telling y'all, whether it's on Instagram, Instagrams, whether it's on um, Twitter or anything else, like, Niggas will literally argue with you or try to start an argument with you, niggas and females too, just to get you to react to report your shit and they will report you and get your shit suspended. I don't argue with nobody. Like, I will literally send you to where King Vaughn and uh, Lil Durk is from Old Block fast because it's like it's not even worth it. You work so hard to build up a platform and then somebody comes through, wants to try to disrespect you. You, you respond to them accordingly and then. Twitter comes and snipes you. So um, salute to Geechee Gotti, uh, getting his Twitter back, a new one. Um, and make sure y'all check him out on there. Make sure y'all check out Loaded Lux, etc., etc. I'm out. Gang! I'm yeah. the real yeah. agent uh, of change. Yeah. Bigger than the heavens is the living legend. Bigger than the heavens is the living legend. Feel like a god amongst men when they're in your presence.